Well, men, I have something of interest to tell you. Something that I am sure you would not wish your wives to hear. I am going to lay all my cards on the table, but I must reserve one card for myself. Now, men, Sinn Féin have had all the sport up to this. We are going to have the sport now. The police have done splendid work, considering the odds against them. They are not sufficiently strong to do anything but hold their barracks. This is not enough. For as long as we remain on the defensive, so long Sinn Féin will have the whip hand. We must take the offensive and beat Sinn Féin with their own tactics. Martial law applying to all Ireland is coming into operation shortly and our scheme of amalgamation must be complete by the 21st of June. I am promised as many troops as I require from England. Thousands are coming daily. I am getting 7,000 police from England. Now, men, what I wish to explain to you is that you are to strengthen your comrades in the outstations. The military are to take possession of the large centres where they will have control of the railways and lines of communication and be able to move rapidly from place to place. Unlike police who can act as individuals and on their own initiative, military must act in large numbers and under a good officer. He must be a good officer or I shall have him removed. If a police barracks is burned, or if the barracks already occupied is not suitable, then the best house in the locality is to be commandeered and the occupants thrown out in the gutter. Let them die there. The more the merrier. You must go out at least six nights a week and get out of the barracks by the back door or skylight, so that you will not be seen. Police patrols in uniform will go out at the front door as a decoy. The military and police will patrol the country roads at least five nights a week. They are not to confine themselves to the main roads, but to go across the country, lie in ambush, take cover behind fences, near the roads, and when civilians are seen approaching, shout, Hands up! Should the order be not obeyed immediately, shoot and shoot with effect. If the persons approaching carry their hands in their pockets or are in any way suspicious looking, shoot them down. You may make mistakes occasionally and innocent persons may be shot, but this cannot be helped and you are bound to get the right persons some times. The more you shoot, the better I will like you, and I assure you that no policeman will get into trouble for shooting any man. In the past, policemen have got into trouble for giving evidence at coroner's inquests. As a matter of fact, coroner's inquests are to be made illegal, so that in future no policeman will be asked to give evidence at inquests. Hunger strikers will be allowed to die in jail. The more, the merrier. Some of them have died already, and a damn bad job they were not all allowed to die. As a matter of fact, some of them have been dealt with in a manner that their friends will never hear about. A ship will be leaving an Irish port in the near future with lots of Sinn Feiners on board. I assure you, men, it will never land. That now is all I have to say to you. We want your assistance in carrying out the scheme in wiping out Sinn Féin. Any man who is not prepared to cooperate is a hindrance rather than a help, and he had better leave the force at once.